Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, good people. Welcome to a bright news week. My name is Manuel from YouTube Best, and today we will be bringing you another interesting news from Imo State. It's having alleged that Governor Hope Ozodema was attacked by some angry youths. And we got another information by a respondent who was at the scene of the event when all this happened and he have something different to tell us but before we get into that please make sure to click on the subscribe button if you have not done that yet and also remember to ring the bell so it will be easier for us to send you new news updates each time we make one thank you and enjoy the rest of the news the news headline reads emo youth attacks governor hope Ozodima." sub headline read as follows if not for the timely intervention of the security operatives Governor Hope Uzodema would have been physically attacked by a mob in Imo State. In fact, Uzodema SUG Jeep was on Sunday, March 8, partly damaged by a gang of angry youths in Ohaji Ebema area. The youth threw stone and weapon at the governor, although none of the objects got him. The governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodema, on Sunday, March 8, narrowly escaped death when he was attacked by the angry youth in Ohaji Ebema area in Imo State. According to the Vanguard News, upon sighting the official SUG jeep of Ozodema, some youth in the area started calling him a thief in loud voice, throwing stones at the vehicles. The object threw at the vehicle eventually damaged it, although the governor was on hot, having been whisked away by the security operatives. This is coming just hours after Legit News reported that a maker in Hyderabad have just given his final word in reaction to the Supreme Court's refusal to review the last Imo gubernatorial election in 2019. The former governor thanked Imo people and members of the People's Democratic Party PDP, in the state for their undying support throughout the legal struggle, which he described as peaceful. In a statement made available to LegitNews.ng, the politician also expressed his deep gratitude and respect to all Nigerians from all walk of life who believe in the due process and rule of law. However, he had alleged that the mandate was briefly stolen from him, and he made a statement. If institutions that are critical to the entrenchment of rule of law could thwart the wishes of the people in a cynical manner, Ihedo in his statement said, Permit me to use this opportunity to thank all those who played one role or the other in this historical quest for justice and truth. I must thank members of the diplomatic community for voicing their concern for the stability of our country. I commend the chairman and members of the People's Democratic Party PDP for their vanguard rule and leadership during this period. In particular, my special thank goes to all Imo citizens for their uncommon support, solidarity and collective outrage. Never have people been so united and committed to a cause. You prayed, fasted, marched, protested and even cried. You sacrificed your time, resources, and endeavor for this just cause. On this matter, the people of Imo State collectively rose to demand for justice and fairness. Imo people rose up in defense of their right to elect leaders of their choice. Our people resoundedly rejected oppression and power grab, defied imposition, injustice, and tyranny. I and here is a report from our respondent on what is said actually happened in the scene. In his heading, it reads, It is not true that Governor Hope Ozodema was attacked and stoned at Ohaji Ebema. The true position of what happens. It reads, Imo State Governor Senator Hope Uzodema received a distress call as the Chief Security Officer of the state that vehicle owned by an oil company operating at Omadu community in Ohaji, Ebema local government of the state, killed three persons, leading to the restiveness of the youth of the community. The governor immediately moved to the community to assess this situation, calmed frayed nerves, and find immediate solution to the problem. Upon his arrival, Accompanied by Imo State Commissioner of Police, Speaker Imo State House of Assembly, State and Federal Legislator from the area, and full of security operatives from the Army, SSS, and the mobile policemen. He was received by the community leader 
as he went straight to meet the traditional ruler of the community and bereaved family. And he wrote, Governor Hope Uzodeman was in sober condolence with the family who lost their loved ones as he addressed the leader of the community at Eze Palace. While the governor was inside addressing the families, some boys among the aggrieved youth started to make some noises, accusing the security operatives of supporting the oil companies and demand that the governor should address them too. As the security operatives tried to calm them down or even control the noise, one of the youths hide behind the others and threw stone at the official vehicle of the governor, which smashed the back glass. He was immediately arrested by the security present. Why this happened? Governor Hope Ozodema was still inside the hall addressing the traditional rulers, community leaders, and the bereaved family. He also wrote, Contrary to the claim that the governor was attacked, some youths were agitating against security operatives whom they claim were conniving with oil companies to kill their people. And in the process, one Mr. Ozochuku Chukukere, who is the vice chairman of the Ebema Youth Wing, threw a stone at them which landed on the vehicle. He has been arrested and handed over to the security operator. According to him, he said this is the truth of the matter. And any other story is a handwork of mischief makers and political propaganda orchestrated by the governor opponent who want to leverage on the current political situation in the state arising from the Supreme Court's judgment to cause distrust. From those that are biting their fingers, nothing can be done about it. His Excellency Hope Uzodema is the sitting governor of Imo State and will always be at all time till 2024. That is it. Please, you do have any useful information about this news, please let us know. Because right now we are getting too many complicated information about this matter. Is Governor Hope Uzodema trying to shy away from the fact that he was attacked by some angry youths? Or is he trying to protect the interest of the youths of Imo State? Because this morning, Hope Uzodema said he wasn't attacked by any angry youths. And we got the news from this day. And it says that angry youths attacked Hope Uzodema while he was inside his vehicle and he was moved away by the policemen immediately so he wouldn't get hurt. And another news told us that he was inside the hall where he was condoning with people who lost their family and talking to the, to the village chief and Ezes. So which of the situation actually happened? Was he actually attacked? Was he inside his vehicle? Was he inside the hall? In this same news, I noted that the youth also urged the governor to address the policemen because they were alleged supporting these oil companies and carrying out their duties. And I want to ask, was the youth inside the hall while the governor was addressing the bereaved? Or was the youth outside and the governor also outside with them addressing the youth why they suggested for him to talk to the policemen. And when the actual incident happened, where was the governor? And what was his reaction to this? Because I think before an angry mob or angry youth can throw stones, even if it is one person, as long as a damage has been done, the environment won't be as calm as it was a few minutes ago before the incident happened. So I think there should be a little rowdiness and uh, noise in that environment and the governor should be aware of what is going on so let's assume he came out and while inside he didn't notice any noise but when he came out seeing his screen shattered what was his reaction so coming up to say he was not attacked by anyone is a logical error and the first lie from the governor of the state Another news from yesterday stated that the governor couldn't meet with the people of the deceased because of the attack. So right now we can't say actually this was what happened because we are getting many information from different sources. But I believe there was a governor and there was an angry youth. There was a damage and there was also an arrest. 
And please, if you have any useful information about this incident, please drop your comment in the comment section below as we read and review it. Once again, my name is Manuel from YouTube Best, signing out.